There is a new kind of mosquito in town, and it has San Diegans itching all over. <laughs> Good evening, and thanks so much for joining us on this Friday night. I'm Marcella Lee. And I'm Jesse Pagan. Right now, the little blood suckers are hitting Southern California particularly hard, and it's about to get worse in some parts of the county. But as CBS 8's Rocio de la Fe shows us, there are some things you can do to bring down the mosquito population. Right now we are in peak mosquito season, meaning if you walk outside, especially anywhere near the water, there's a good chance you might become a mosquito's next victim. And the recent heat waves are only making the problem worse. People everywhere in San Diego County are dealing with pesky mosquitoes, not just outdoors, but indoors too. They've been in my house a lot more than usual recently. The 80s Egypti mosquito, or commonly known as the yellow fever mosquito, is not native to California and arrived in the region about six to seven years ago. Chris Conlon, an ecologist with the county's vector control program, says these mosquitoes are exceptionally good at breeding. It, it mainly uh, breeds in small sources of water, like you know any containers that get left out, even some types of plants that, that hold water in the base. In fact, only a bottle cap amount of water like this is enough for the mosquitoes to breed. The new invasive bloodsuckers don't fly far. They tend to hover around the ground and even follow you inside your house. And when they bite, they mainly go for the lower part of the body, which is why they're oftentimes called ankle biters. The skeeters just went towards my legs, and if I'm out at night around like the swamp area, they just get torn up. This is like the first year where I've actually seen like a considerable, considerable amount of mosquito bites, like not in the summer. I like I wake up with um, literally like mosquito bites all over my shoulders, my legs. It's ridiculous. Um, we've been trying to make like a lot of fly traps at my house, you know, apple cider vinegar, whatever. Um, that that's not even working. And if the problem wasn't bad already, it's about to get worse, according to Conlon. The other issue, too, that's probably going to make that a, a, an issue for a while is that rain we got from that tropical storm about 10 days ago or so, because the, the mosquitoes that might be produced from the water that was left behind by that storm are probably becoming adults right about now. To protect yourself, Conlon says eliminating any source of water around your house is the most effective way to deal with the mosquitoes, closing all windows and doors, or at best, using window screens. The county recently finished supplying mosquito larvicide to waterways known to breed mosquitoes throughout San Diego in an effort to keep the numbers under control. Rocio de la Fe, CBS 8.